Looking for something? Oh, you scared me. Why aren't you asleep? For the same reason you're not, I suppose. I guess you heard about the boy. I did. No word travels fast in this town. How long has he been out there? Six years. Six years? Nobody can survive in that forest for six years. At least not alone. Well, he says... He says he wasn't alone. He drew this? He says it's his friend from the forest. And it reminded me of... I know what it reminded you of. That one? How old was I when you drew this for me? What did you really see out there? And please, don't tell me another story. Just tell me what you remember. What I remember? Well, what I remember is I was out hunting and the sun was shining down and wind was blowing through the trees and I remember thinking, boy, this is exactly where I belong. I stopped by a creek to get a drink. Suddenly I realized it wasn't in the sun anymore and I looked up to see what was blocking the sky and what did I see but a dragon. I see a dragon. I've never been so scared in my life. But when I raised my gun to shoot, suddenly there was this feeling, this, it was like magic. You come inside with me now, and tomorrow I'll take you back out to the woods and you can show me exactly where you live. How does that sound? You know, when I was a little girl, I wanted to live in the forest more than anything. I loved being out there. It was so fun with the squirrels and the birds and the trees. So when I grew up, I made it my job to protect the woods and everything in them, which I suppose includes you. <laughs> and Elliot? Who's Elliot? Pete, is Elliot your imaginary friend? What's imaginary? Well, it's where you make someone up in your head so that you have someone to talk to. It keeps you from being lonely. Are they funny? Sure. Do they fly? I guess they can do whatever you want them to. That's what makes them imaginary. Are you my imaginary friend, too? <laughs> I'm real. So is Ellie. I wasn't going to be done. Not yet. I just took out my pocket knife. And as the dragon set upon me, <laughs> I drove it home. Scaring the kids again, Dad? No, no, no. I was just giving him a leg up on what's out there in those woods. Well, I'm out in those woods every day. And while I have seen bears and bobcats and just about every type of bird you can imagine, I have never seen a dragon. Well, just because you don't see something doesn't mean it's not there. And just because you say it's true doesn't mean it is. But I'm headed out there right now. And I'll let you all know if I see anything big and green and breathing fire. Dad. Come on. 
Drive? Sort of. My dad's truck doesn't have this many buttons. Stop, stop what you're doing, young lady. Your feet don't even reach the pedals. Scoot over. Wait! I don't want to hurt your friend, son. I just want to help. Get in. Better buckle up. Hold on tight. Oh, I thought I put it in reverse. Hi, Vale here. Keeping with animation, do you know what was the first ever animated movie made? Well, it seems that there is a great debate about it, depending on how you define animated movie. But the honor usually goes to humorous phases of funny faces, uh, yeah, made by James Stewart Blackton in 1906. Not satisfied with having made a 2D animation movie, Blackton went on in 1907 to create uh, The Haunted Hotel, in which, using special effects and the technique stop motion, he gave 3D animation to the world. Whoa. Me personally, I like the older style hand-drawn animated movies rather than the computer-generated ones they make today. What about you? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the best animated movie releases. Bye!